What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Coming at you today with another figure review. Today we are jumping into wave four of the Super 7 TMNT Ultimates line. We've got Donatello. This just came in from Big Bad Toy Store. Head over to Big Bad Toy Store for all your toy needs, whether it's Hasbro, Mafex, Hot Toys, and all the other major brands. They've got it along with $4 flat rate shipping. Click the link in the description to see what BBTS can do to fill that need you have in your collection. So click that link in my description. Check out what Big Bad Toy Store has. I believe this wave is in stock, so go check that out. It also helps the channel when you click on that link. But let's jump right into this guy. I'm so excited to finally be completing the four brothers out. Donatello will do that. Looking at the packaging, it's very reminiscent of what we gotten with the other three turtles. Got an embossed logo here with what looks like a Donatello head. Does have his bow or staff here kind of embossed on it as well. Looks like a sewer lid. Very cool. Nice green color here to it. Donatello's name at the bottom. Super 7 branding there at the bottom as well. Ultimate's logo up top. Nice big TMNT logoing there on the back. Contents, one figure with accessories in the left-hand corner and Super 7 branding on the right side. One of the cool features about all Super 7 Ultimates, they are slipcover packaging. We slide this up to reveal our Donatello inside. This guy looks fantastic in package. So I've actually ordered two of each of the turtles. I'm gonna have one in package and one out of package for each of the turtles. This guy's obviously coming out. He's going on the shelf. We can pretty much see everything that he comes with. All of his weapons, staff, him, more weapons on the side, pizza slice, turtle communicator, extra head. We can see the hands back here in the back. Got that nice green brick work kind of around the packaging here as we spin around to the back. We do got a little write up here on Donatello. You can pause that if you care to read it and continuing on around and back to the front. Let's crack this guy out of his packaging and see what we got. All right guys, we got Donnie out of his packaging and on our review table. Let's jump right into accessories. First thing we got hands. So you can see the hands that he comes with out of packaging here. These are gripping hands. These hands actually have the articulation going from side to side versus front to back. So you can see that there, how the articulation goes forward and backward. Not the traditional articulation that we see. We do, however, get a pair of holding hands that has the traditional articulation. You can see there that articulation will go from front to back of hand. Now, we also get a pair of open hands. So I'm just showing you one, but you get to one for the right, one for the left. So you get a set of open hands there. And then lastly, you get a pair of completely closed fist hands. You also get the weapons tree. So this is reminiscent of the original Playmates Turtles line. That's what they kind of do this, give this as kind of a throwback. All right, now to the really good stuff. You get a pair of bow or staff, and these look really, really nice. To me, they, they look identical from what I can tell. They give you two of them. They're nicely, this appears to be painted wood here on the end of these got some nice wood grain in them and then a painted wrap like material here this is plastic but it's you know appears to be wrap uh, like we would typically see on his bows all right and with the next three uh weapons here you guys always have to help me out in the comments we got this weapon nicely painted mine did come a little warped you can see that straight out of packaging uh, it's pretty warped there so i may have to uh, heat that up straighten it out but still looks good nicely painted you get this weapon we all remember these as when we were kids just never actually knew what to call them but i'm sure somebody can drop that down in the comments below and then lastly this one he also gets a pair of ninja stars i'll just show you one here got a little hole in the middle of it we get a closed turtle communicator very nicely painted you get an open turtle communicator Again, nicely painted. No painting there on the, well, blue painting on the screen, but you know, with like NECA with these, we actually see they'll paint a character into those. Uh, Super 7 decided not to do that, but still looks really nice. And then we got our slice of pizza. Lastly, we get the really cool head. So all of my turtles in Super 7 are actually posed on the shelf with the alternate head, I'll call it, uh, because it is not the you know, the head that they come out of packaging with. This is a really serious version of Donnie. I think this looks so fantastic. And I love the head that he actually comes with. You can see the head that he comes with is pretty much identical to the head that he actually came with with the original Playmates Turtles line. So that definitely holds that nostalgic value for all of us, you know, 80s and 90s kids. But one thing to note also with the alternate head, it does just come, you know, the bandana portion of this is a lot longer, uh, you know, than what we see here with 
the original Playmates version. So they kind of wanted that to more or less match the Playmates version, which was a shorter, I guess you would call it tassel, whatever you want to call that on the back of the uh, bandana there. All right, let's bring this guy in for his close-up. Let's take, take a nice close look at him. Obviously with all the turtles, and, and we'll get out some of them so we can see comparisons with their color and size and all that type of stuff to here toward the end of the video. But you see Donnie kind of has that darker color, uh, like what we saw with the Playmates line. And we'll bring that original Playmates toy out as well so you can see kind of a comparison with that. Uh, but he does have that darker skin tone but it looks really good. The four of them look are going to look fantastic. He does have a place here uh, to put his staff. You can see there, that will just slide right down. In there, the thicker portion there uh, with the wrap is actually kind of what holds it in place, but that, that looks really good hanging out there on his back. Um, the turtle shell does have a little bit of battle damage there, which is pretty neat. I think they all kind of have some forms of battle damage on them here and there. You can see here he's got some on the front of his shell. Got the nice big D there. They did a really good job with the strapping, even though it is plastic. They did a good job with the sculpt work to give it a very leathery look. So I think that's very nice. Got a little bit of battle damage here on the knee pads. You know, pretty much a standard turtle body. I would say that the four turtles that we received, it's pretty much going to be the same sculpt for all four of them. Uh, just with the exception of the head. So from what I can tell, it's just a reuse uh, on all four of those guys, which is understandable. They were identical pretty much in every way in the Playmates line, other than the colors of the bandana and their mouth sculpt. So to me, that makes sense, and I'm happy with that. To kind of run through the articulation, we've done this on the other turtles already, so it's really going to be nothing new. Can't get the head really far down. That's about where we're going to get on the head. We can get a spin all the way around, and then we can get up a little more, so you can see there, slightly up, not 45 degrees probably. A little bit of side-to-side -side motion there, no problem. We can get those shoulders up to right there, very clean. Full 360, very clean, no problem. We do have a swivel at the top of the bicep there and single jointed elbows like we see with pretty much the entire line of Ultimates. Right here, as we said, we do have kind of the non-traditional articulation there where it's side to side versus in and out. We do have a little bit of movement right there. If you can see kind of what we would consider kind of the bottom of the abdomen, it doesn't really give you much of a crunch as all of this shell, the hard material underneath the shell is gonna really prevent you from doing any kind of crunch there. Get the legs out, no problem. We do have a nice swivel there at the top of the thigh. You can see there, you know, the tops of the thighs on these are probably the only area you know, that to me really limits the sculpt. And you don't see it really well if you just have them posed up on a shelf like this. But if you look at them from the side, you're really able to see, you know, kind of that ball joint in there, kind of unsightly. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, again, I don't want to be too hard on this. This is my favorite line out there. Uh, I think from a sculpt, paint work, QC standpoint, Super 7 Ultimates has got to be one of the best out there. Single jointed knees there from what I can tell. It does not look, even if it was double jointed, it's not going to go any farther than about 90 or not even quite 90. And then uh, tons of movement here in your ankles, all kinds of rockers for days there. You can do anything you want with those feet. That's pretty much your articulation on this guy. It, like I said, it's pretty standard for the Super 7 Ultimates line. Pretty much Thundercats, Turtles, they're all taking the same type of articulation design. I'm assuming that'll continue on into the Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, etc. So a very nice figure. Let's go ahead and bring in some figures for size comparison, and we can wrap up this video. All right, guys. So here we got him with Raph and Leo from the Super 7 line. You can see they're all identical in size. I do have Mikey. I just have not unboxed him. I actually want to get a review of him on the channel as well. So we'll be doing that here soon. But... Here's what I do have already out of packaging. You can see size, they stack it perfect. The colors look fantastic. It is so reminiscent of that Playmates line when I was a kid playing with these three guys. You can see I do have the alternate Donatello head on, the more serious version. Swapped out some of the hands, just so you guys could see that kind of on the figure itself. Here we've got Donnie with the Bebop figure, which is one of the more massive figures in the Super 7 Ultimates line and one of my favorite figures in the line as well. You can see Bebop is massive. He towers over the turtles, which is how I would assume that he would in real life. Here we have Donnie with his original Playmates counterpart. You can see the coloration is slightly different, but not too bad. I think they got very, very close on getting the colors correct on this guy. And then just to go a whole nother route here, we got the SH Figure Arts Donatello, which I think is one of the best figures 
that's ever been made of the turtles, and that includes all four of them, but in this case we have Donatello here. Very cartoon reminiscent is kind of the style SH was going with these. If you ever have a chance to get your hands on them, they are fantastic. Smoothest ice when it comes to their joints, their articulation. But there's a little size comparison. SH is more of a six inch scale figure line where Super 7 is a seven inch. So you can kind of see the difference there between a six and a seven inch scale figure. NECA is right about the same size as that SH figure art. So I'm not gonna throw that figure in here because it's up on my diorama, kind of tough to get to, but NECA falls right in that same size category as the SH there. All right, guys, so that is our Super 7 Donatello review and overview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments. Have you received yours yet? Again, Big Bad Toy Store is shipping these out. That is where I got mine. I do have the entire wave coming. So I'd ordered the entire wave, and then I did a separate order for an individual Donatello. Interestingly enough, the individual figure shipped, and the wave has not filled yet. So I'm sure the whole wave will be coming very soon but we got Donnie here first. So be on the lookout for the rest of the wave review once they actually arrive from Big Bad Toy Store. But again, drop the comments down below, hit that like button for me, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're well on our way to 7,000. I think we're like 50 subs away. We'll be doing a giveaway when we get there. Go check out my toy hunts. We got the Robeson Optimus Prime self-transforming review out there as well. That's a couple videos back, so go check that out if you want to see some amazing technology. That's a good one for you. I hope everybody has a good rest of your week. Until next time.